On February 8th, 2018, I became the first Muslim woman to wear hijab while reporting on an American TV news station. Alhamdulillah. Nebraska 2016. That was my second phone interview for a TV reporting job that I had been interviewing for and looking for for months. I was this close to getting it and I could feel it. I aced the interview. I had a really good back and forth with the news director, but that dreaded phone call came. The one that said, we're sorry, but we decided to go a different direction. I'd heard that before, but it doesn't get any easier. And at that moment, I realized that there were two paths in front of me. One, take off my hijab. Get rid of the biggest red mark on my resume. The one that seemed to make employers feel more than comfortable with putting my skills to use behind the camera, but for some reason, not in front of it. The other path was to stay on the one that I was on, was to keep my hijab, to work harder, possibly twice, three times, four times as long to get to where I want to go, but inshallah stay in the favor of the one whose favor I'd ultimately need in order to succeed. So I don't think it's a surprise which path I ended up going on. I decided to take a behind the scenes job as a producer at WHTBF TV, which is a CBS affiliate in the Quad Cities. And I thought, you know what? This will be good experience. I got there. And when I got there, I realized, wow, this moment may never come here in the Quad Cities. This little corner of Iowa doesn't see Muslims very often, let alone hijabis. I'm talking straight cornfields and country music. And so, alhamdulillah, I thought, you know what? At the very least, this will be a stepping stone for me. Even when one of my coworkers, when I disclosed my dream, said, you know what? I don't think America will ever be ready be ready for a hijabi TV reporter. But I went to work, and fast forward about nine months into that job, a TV reporting position opened up at my station. I was really excited. I went for it, I applied for it, didn't get it. I thought again, do I keep going or do I give up on something that seems impossible? I kept going. March 2017, I was like, I was here for a year. I had a good reputation, alhamdulillah, with everybody, not only in my newsroom, but who worked at the station. Everybody knew my dream at this point. Everybody knew my goals. And they had seen my improvements and how hard I was working. So I applied. And I didn't get it. I was devastated, to say the least. I mean, you saw in that video, I think now pretty much the entire world has seen me cry. That was the moment. <laughs> that was the moment where I had to pull over and talk to my mom because I thought, I have been working nonstop for the past year. If not now, then when? What else can I do? I don't know what else to do to get this job. And so, of course, Mama Rahman, who you heard um, a little bit about her influence there, but she wouldn't let me rest, and she said, you're going to keep trying. And so I did. I went back to work. And fast forward to fall of the same year, September 2017. Another position opened up. And as you can imagine, at this point, I was still traumatized by my last experience. 
I didn't even want to apply. I didn't want to go through it again. I didn't know if I could handle it. But I did. I was encouraged by actually some of my coworkers even to apply. And then I waited, and I waited, and I waited. And finally, one day when I came into work that afternoon, I was called into the general manager's office. And he closed the door and he said, Tahira, you've earned this job. You got the job. Alhamdulillah. And I found out that the anchors of our newscast had each gone in separately to talk on my behalf. They each went in and said how hard I'd been working, how capable, more than capable I was of the job, and they each told my boss that he'd be making the wrong decision if he didn't hire me. SubhanAllah, I had no idea that this was going on. And so finally, on February 8th, 2018, I became the first Muslim woman to wear hijab while reporting on an American TV news station. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. We all find ourselves now facing two paths. One, you can say, well, fine, if I'm gonna be criticized either way, whether I'm trying or not, whether I'm struggling to be the best or not, I might as well take the easy route out. I might as well just do what I want to do if I'm going to be criticized anyway. And that's the route that a lot of people take. We've seen that, we are seeing that play out in the hallways of our schools and our universities and even our workplaces. But then there's always that other path. There's a path that you struggle on, but you acknowledge it and you say, Yes, I do need to work on myself. I, just like every other human being on this planet, have to perfect myself. But that struggle is between me and Allah. And inshallah, with His help, I can get better day by day. We learn from the cradle to the grave as Muslims. And if you stop learning along the way and if you stop growing, that's when you need to reevaluate yourself. That's when you are probably doing it wrong. So my message tonight, or not tonight, today, this morning, to you is not a lecture, but it's encouragement for you as well as myself to not be discouraged by that path, to stay on it, even if you feel weighted and led, and every single step you take seems hard and slow. Know that that struggle is not scary. It's a good sign. You should own it, work with it, because ahead of you is always Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that path is always the path worth taking. <laughs>